Federal lawsuits filed this week allege multiple city leaders in Florence knew about repeated sexual misconduct at City Hall and failed to take action. The lawsuits were filed by the current city clerk and another former city employee who say they were sexually harassed by former city manager Mike Patterson. Chief investigative reporter Chelsea Brenzel is live to explain what the lawsuits allege and how the city is responding tonight. Chelsea. Heather and Bart, those lawsuits were filed by City Clerk Jessica Hill and former city planning technician Shay Ardry. Tonight, their attorney tells me they felt obligated to bring Patterson's behavior and the city's disregard of it out in the open. Two federal lawsuits are shedding new light on the city of Florence's saga with its fired city manager, Mike Patterson. Patterson was arrested in November, charged with stalking and sexual contact without consent. City clerk Jessica Hill alleges Patterson sexually assaulted her in his office in August 2021. Former planning technician Shay Ardry alleges Patterson repeatedly sent her sexual text messages. Both women say Patterson frequently texted them sexual messages oftentimes talking about their looks, his sexual fantasies, and desire to have sex with them. Both lawsuits say three department heads, including the interim city manager, interim HR director, and police chief, knew about the alleged sexual misconduct for months, but did nothing to help the women. The federal claims say the city was aware of Patterson's behavior before he was hired. In 2008, Patterson was charged with assault against a woman with whom he was in a romantic relationship with. He pleaded guilty in the case and was ordered to complete an 18-month domestic violence program. The lawsuit goes into detail about a sexual harassment claim involving Patterson in 2019. It says the former clerk who reported it was terminated in retaliation for reporting the harassment. The women allege Patterson never received any tangible adverse employment action after the 2019 claim, but instead was given pay raises and hidden perks. The lawsuit also calls into question the council's statement last month that Patterson's actions were deceptive and covert, the women allege Patterson's sexual misconduct took place during work hours in City Hall. 13 investigates spoke with the Florence mayor, Paul Velagrana, over the phone. He told us he was unaware of the lawsuits and much happened before he was elected as mayor in 2021. We also reached out to all of the city council members, the city attorney, and three department heads that are named in the suit. They have not responded with comments. Patterson's criminal defense attorney has also not responded to our request for comment. Chelsea Brenzel, 13 investigates.